All right, so let's now shift our attention to kind of the final phase of this MP. At this point, you've designed your course model, you've added routes to your server, and you've completed the client, and those parts of the test suite are passing. If those parts aren't passing, it's gonna to be tough to make progress on this part of the MP. So I would really suggest that you work through those portions first before you get here. Um, at this point, what we need is a new activity. And this is probably one of the more uh, challenging parts of this MP is just sort of understanding what to do here um, and, and getting it done. And I'm probably gonna give a little bit of less firm guidance here than I have on other sections. Um, so what's an activity in Android? An activity is something that you see. It's something that uh, you see on the screen. And so uh, let's see here. Uh, you know, I, I don't have a copy of the, the app running currently, but you know, uh, well, I probably should. So let's see here. So let me go um, open up my, uh, my solution set and we'll just go ahead and, and run the app. So when the app launches, there's an activity that's visible. And this is the main activity in, in the project. Now, why is that activity visible? Well, let me show you. So one of the files that um, we're gonna need to do some work in for this is this uh, androidmanifest.xml. And this, what this says is, it says that in our uh, project, the, this activity, edu.illinois, blah, 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 dot activities, dot main activity is the main activity. And that's what gets started when the activity is launched. However, in order to get the detailed course view to work properly, we need a second activity because now we're looking at a different screen. And so there's two things that we need to think about here. Um, well, maybe more than two. So the first is, how do we create new activities in the first place? Uh, and how do we get them to launch? The second thing is, how does this activity obtain the information that it needs to render the display? Um, and those are the two challenges that we're gonna take up in this section. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, let me go back to uh, my, this is not a solution set. Uh, this is just the starter code. Um, and so at this point I've stubbed out the other parts, but there's really nothing else working here. Um, and so what I really wanna do is kind of focus on sort of how do you get started writing an activity? Um, and then you know how, how could we test it before we get some of the other things working, right? Because there is a little bit of layout that you're gonna to have to do here, which is kind of cool. Um, all right. so. For now, let's go, and in, as in many of the other parts of, the, of this MP, our goal is that you, you understand the main activity. Um, now, this is a little trickier because the main activity is doing things that this new activity that you add is not going to need to do. And so there's stuff in here that's actually kind of unnecessary to, to understand. And so filtering through things can be a little bit tricky. Um, but let's go ahead and just create a new activity first. So uh, we can, uh, we're gonna call this, we need to call this course activity. That's what the test suite expects uh, you to call it. Um, I'll add it to my project. This is a new file that I do want to, um, I do want to track along the rest of my courses. And like the main activity, I'm gonna extend this app compat activity. That allows this to be something that, that Android knows how to launch. Okay, um, now let's, there's some parts of this that we need to understand. So there's code that runs when the activity is created. And so all I'm gonna do right now is override that method. So I'll do on, if I just start typing on create, it'll kind of do the right thing here for me, right? Which is really nice. Um, one of the things I'll steal from the main activity is this tag. Um, so I'll pull this over into course activity. Um, now, I don't want to use the main activity as my tag name. I'm going to use course activity, uh, so that'll work okay. Um, and now let's put some logging in here. Log.i, and we'll say uh, tag um, activity course activity start. Okay, and then I'm going to need to import my logging. All right. Um, and then why is this upset about override? Oh, there's some check style stuff here. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that for now. And so how do we get to this point? So now we have a new activity, but the question is, how do we actually start this activity? And so to start a new activity in Android, we use this concept of what's called an intent. An intent allows uh, an activity to be started 
And in this case, what we're going to do is actually we're going to start this activity from our main activity. So when I launch, be, because of how my manifest is configured here um, in Android, when I launch the app, I've told Android that I want to run this main activity. So that's going to be the one that the user is going to see first. But what if I want to start another activity, like in this case, to show information about the course? Uh, okay, so in order to do this, I need to uh, launch it. So I'm going to actually launch it from the main activity. Now, this is something that we're going to, I'm going to be kind of providing some hints and things along the way. So there's this method down here that we haven't really done much with. It says on course clicked. And this is actually a callback that's called every time we click on one of the courses in the in the summary view. So in, we can actually uh, confirm this. So we use tag um, and we'll say clicked on and then this is a this is an actual summary. So I can say course dot uh, let's see, full title. Great. Uh, I need to import my logging mechanism here. Okay, good. Uh, so let's run this uh, now. This should compile. The course activity is just kind of hanging out right now. It's not doing anything, but it shouldn't hurt me uh, yet. Okay. Uh, all right. So, so, and there's two things that we're going to talk about here, right? Well, at least two. Um, the first is how do we get this activity started? The second is how do we provide information to that activity? Because when this new activity that we're creating starts up, it's going to need to know what course we actually want to display. And so we're going to actually need to pass, be able to pass some information to that activity that that activity is going to need to be able to retrieve, right? And, and doing this is, is, is a little bit, um, is a little bit tricky, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Um, but for now, let's just get to the point where we're actually uh, able to click on things and see that this is working, right? So I've got to open up my Logcat tab down here uh, and then just do this. And then you'll see, there we go, clicked on. Yeah, okay, so that's working. Clicked on, clicked on, clicked on. You're seeing messages because I'm clicking on things. Good, okay. Now this is gonna come in handy later, right? That we found this thing that we, we can use. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch, use this as an opportunity to launch a new activity. And so to do that, you know, and, and again, this is a place where, you know, you could basically say uh, Android launch new activity. Um, and there's some great documentation here on the Android website about how to do this. Um, and so what we're actually doing here is we're, we create this thing called an intent. And then we call this function called start activity which is what actually launches the intent. So you can think of the intent as almost like a configuration that's used by Android to figure out how to launch this new activity. And so if you look here, what we need to do is we need to pass it the new activities class uh, using this syntax. And then there, we, we can do some things here. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute, how we can add some extra information to this activity. But for now, let's just uh, get this started. So we're gonna say intent start course activity equal to new intent uh, and then we need to import this it's going to come from android.content um, there are two things I need to provide the first is a context provider which I can just use this particular activity and then I need to provide the the, the, the class to actually um, to actually and I'm going to do start activity here you see there's a and then I can pass it an intent so now what we're trying to do is actually we're trying to use this click this is one of the actions that we have in our app. Uh, we're going to try to use this to launch this new activity that we just created and see what happens. All right, so let's rebuild this. Uh, we're going to see uh, see if this works. Uh, our goal is, you know, this is sort of something that you would do during testing, right? I just want to see what this thing looks like, right? I just wanted to, uh, you know, I, I wanted to do something, right? So let's see here. I click on this, and now it says, uh oh, there's a crash, right? Um, and if I look at the, um, at, at, the, at the logs, this is a case where the error message is actually helping me out here. Um, and the problem here is that we've created this new activity, we set up the class, but we actually haven't declared it in our Android manifest file. And so in here, if we look here, we, we, know, we, know, we need to essentially declare this new activity. So I'm gonna use the, uh, it's gonna help me here actually, it just it sort of completed that for me. Not sure there's anything else I really need to add. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm adding this. This is this Android manifest.xml file. 
this defines the different activities that are present in my application. Before, until I do this, I'm gonna get this error message and the app's going to crash. All right, so uh, let's try running it again. It stopped because it had crashed previously. So now I've told, this syntax is a little bit different. In this case, the path is relative or the, the package name's relative to the root of the, the, you know, the, the package name for the app, right? So this is, this is pretty much, I could also say, uh, if I wanted to, these two are equivalent. So if I took this and just put this down here, this is a little bit of a longer form, but it doesn't matter, it does the same thing. Okay, so now I click on it and okay. So this is better at least, I, I, I have something happening. What happens if I hit back? Okay, I get to go back, that's good. It takes me back to the, to the summary view. So I have something launched, right? So that's super cool, right? I guess, and then maybe you think it's cool, maybe you think it's sort of silly, but whatever. Um, okay. But at least we got this activity to launch and let's actually verify that it's launched. Oh wait, there we go. We already had this tag in here. Oh, I was just hanging out waiting for us to use it. So now it says course activity started. So this is working, right? So we, we figured out how to start a new activity. Okay, so that's only like half the fun here, right? Um, there's, there's two other things we need to figure out how to do. Um, one of these I'm gonna leave like kind of intentionally a little, little bit open-ended for you to figure out. Um, and that's how you actually want things to look. There's only two requirements that our test suites are going to enforce. One is that the title of the course has to appear on the screen. That's the same formatted the same way that you used in the summary view. The second requirement is the course description also has to appear on the display. Those are the only requirements. The font sizes, formatting, whatever is totally up to you. And also how you get that information to the, you know, to the, the display is also up to you. So now, um, now let's, so, so the one thing, I'm gonna split this into two parts. So the first part, we're gonna talk a little bit about how sort of we, we, we get information to this um, activity. And the second is, we'll talk about the layout parts, right? Which are a little bit more interesting. Um, okay, so now I've got this activity started, but I'm missing something, which is that the activity doesn't know what course it's supposed to show information for, okay? He, here's what's gonna happen in my onCreate method. So let's go back to my main activity. See what the main activity does in onCreate? It uses, and, and, and again, this is a case where we want you to mimic the starter code that you've been given. It uses this get summary uh, method from the course client to retrieve information about that semester's list of courses and then displays it. In your course activity, you want to retrieve information about one course, but the problem is, how do you know which one? And so here we're gonna go back to the Android documentation and we're gonna look at this idea of an, what's called um, uh, an extra in the intent. This is the way that we can pass information to the new activity so that it knows something about the world. And if you look at the test suite, you'll see that when we test this particular part of the MP, we are using this field in the extra information called course. And what we're passing is a serialized uh, version of the summary information about that class. So we take the summary, we serialize it to a string. In order to pass things through this particular mechanism, they have to be strings or other very simple types. And then we're sticking it into this extra field on the attempt called course. So let me show you an example of doing that. It's not gonna be the exact same, um, but let's say we say, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do intent dot, uh, was it put uh, set extra, uh, sorry. I have to use it on the actual temp dot uh, add put extra. There we go. Uh, and I'll say test. Or how about this? How we'll do? We'll do uh, uh, title, right? And we'll do course dot title, uh, and then we'll do get title. Okay. So now I'm starting this activity with the title, but then how do I actually retrieve that information in the course activity to make sure that it came through on the other side? Well, again, let's go back to the documentation um, and we'll look down here and in, in the onCreate method, you have this uh, method that you can call called get intent. I have to import this again. This allows me to retrieve the intent that was used to create the activity. And so in this case, when I click, I'm adding this field to the intent. And now when the intent, the activity starts up, I can figure out what's in here. So let's do log.d tag intent.get extra, uh, get string extra, that's what I put, 
In this case, what did I call it? Title? Okay. All right, so let's try this again. We'll rerun the app. Um, and now what we're hoping to see in our logs is that the main activity is adding this information about the course that got clicked and the uh, course activity is able to retrieve. Uh, okay, so now I'll see data science discovery is printed. Okay, that's good. Now I hit here, refreshment honors. Okay, so this seems to work. Now, in order to pass the test suites, what you should expect to receive here is a serialized summary. So you should take this, deserialize it to a course summary, and then use that with the client that you just completed to retrieve information about the course. At that point, the flow here is very similar to main activity. So again, look at what main activity does when it starts up. It now in this case is just using defaults, right? It doesn't main activity starts from nothing, right? So there's nothing that starts it, therefore it doesn't have any of these extra information in the intent. Instead, it just gets the summaries for this uh, baked in default year and semester. You're gonna do something a little bit different. You're gonna take the intent, you're gonna pull out that information, you're gonna deserialize it to a summary, and then you're gonna use that in your get client method to retrieve information about that course. You'll register a callback. That callback could be the activity itself, like we do with the main activity, when that network request completes and you have that full course object that your get course method on the client is gonna return, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna use that information to update the UI. That information is gonna have two pieces in it that you need to use. One is the title or all the parts of the title that you need to put together in the same way that you did for MP0. The second piece is that description. So again, this is a, a, a this question of sort of mimicking the same thing that you would do uh, with the main activity, uh, the same type of flow for this new activity. But hopefully I've given you some sense of sort of how to get started here. Um, and what some of the basic building blocks of, of activities are that you'll need to understand for this part of the MP.